record. Hey, hey. Who's that kick us off. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh my gosh, we've already started, you know, that you need to come in to our Zoom meetings just a few minutes early if you want some extra entertainment. <laughs> that, what that happens part, before the Zoom stays before the Zoom. We're going to start secretly recording that part and we're going <laughs> to have a a whole series of our, uh, you know, our goof offs anyway. So, hey, Sorry about that, Betty. Betty, I kicked you off. Sorry, honey. That's all right. She's, okay. she's back. She's back. Hey, Betty is anything. She is persistent. She does not give up. So, and I, and I'm proud of her for that. Hey, you guys, happy Monday. Huh, happy uh, closing in on the end of August. Oh my goodness. And uh, lots of exciting things. I cannot believe that, um, the holiday products are out. Can you believe that? And we're actually going to maybe, maybe tomorrow night give you a little sneak peek, even though officially okay. Rick Norris is like, please, please, Let's you got to be on with us. Okay. You got to be on live. Ashley heard, don't tell Pam Shaw because we're not supposed to do that. <laughs> that's, that's right. Anyway, hey, if you were really at seminar, that I, I missed bits and pieces and we'll talk about this tomorrow night too. Did they show any of the holiday products? that I missed because I didn't see them show any and normally they would have shown if you were at Ed in Dallas you know this month or last month you would have actually gone to the expo and seen and played with all the holiday lines and the company would have talked about them so um so we might just sneak a little bit of that in tomorrow night during our pink huddle but tonight is our pink link and we're going to kind of wrap it up we've had I don't know Susan how many sessions five I think this is our fifth fifth or sixth uh, we're talking about <laughs> some, of, some of the basics of the business and more than anything giving you some guidance on where to go to get the additional training and education that you need because the company has done so much of that for us that there's no need to reinvent the wheel right so but Susan and I want to support you in those and we appreciate our new consultants and our experienced consultants for coming on and hanging out with us and we also really wanted to record the basics for posterity um, for you know it will probably change it up we'll probably add to it but at least we've got some good basic training and some information in there Susan thoughts additional oh, that's comments? good Keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to be on it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so tonight, really, to wrap it up, there's two areas. Well, one big area that we haven't really talked about at all, and that is team building. And so we want to kind of wrap it up tonight with uh, team building for new consultants and for seasoned consultants and um, and also just kind of a, a, a final wrap up of our training. But Here's my, what I want my two cents worth, right? Right off the bat when we're talking about team building, because I think sometimes we, we get so caught up in uh, all the specifics and um, you know, how to do this and what, you know, what we need to read here and what this step is. And, and instead of just sharing our passion about the business, I, I, I know I was guilty of that for the first few years. I felt like every time I needed, you know, I needed to specifically say, you know, let's sit down, let me give you, let me share some information, you know, some facts about my Mary Kay business with you. And, and those are all great words. And those are good things to say because we really do want to share our business. But I think then we stumble over ourselves rather than letting, we try to let our head speak more than just our heart speak. And I think honestly that brand new consultants are some of the best recruiters that we have and that we've seen experience of that because you're just coming in, you're just excited and you're like, girl, <laughs> you oh, she's froze. Heard some fun <laughs> things and I really like this product line. And so, um, you know, I, I think that you just need to speak from your heart first and not get all caught up in all the specifics. You need to learn them as you go along, but I don't think you need to wait to share the opportunity uh, until you feel like you've learned everything. And plus the fact that you need to lean on experienced consultants, your, your, your unit members, your recruiter, or your director, and let her help you with that part of the business. Susan? Yes. Um, you know, I'm when you were talking today about uh, team building, I'm remembering back in 1988 when I joined and it took me almost a year to recruit somebody, which just blows me away because 
in my mind as a new consultant was, well, why would I want to recruit anybody? I live in this little town and I want them to buy from me. I just want to be everybody's consultant. Why would I want to, and I didn't mean it in this to sound selfish, but I guess it was because I'm like, well, I don't, why would I want there to be 20 Mary Kay gals in this little town? Right, Diane, you know? And um, I remember the, the first person I, I talked to, it really was, it wasn't sitting down and going through a checklist and telling them all the details about the business. It was just from my heart. It was like, you know what? I think we would have a blast doing this together. So let me, you know, you wanna just ask me some questions? I mean, that's how my first recruit happened. And then once that happened, it all started to go from there and earn my first car. So I think what, what I gathered what from Teresa's saying is you can't put, you cannot put team building into a box. It needs to be just a part of, did I just freeze? Okay. <laughs> Everybody looked like they were frozen. Um, you just make team building a natural part of your business. And what I feel like in today's world, one of the best things we can do is show people our Mary Kay life. You, you know, when we're, when we're working our business or we're on, on social media or whatever, using that hashtag my MK life or crazy grateful to MK. And it's not so much, Hey, y'all should do what I'm doing. You know, let me tell you what I'm doing. Show them your Mary Kay life. And I think that that is one of the best ways to make people curious and want to ask you about it. Does that make sense? And so where we can't, you know, when, when the days when we were doing parties, like going to people's homes and we did the four point recruiting plan and all of that, we're in a little different world now. And I think that it's important to always sprinkle people at your appointments with a little bit about your story and say, you know what, I, I don't know. Mary Kay always said there was a new person, a new consultant at every party. And I don't know who it is tonight, but I want to tell you just real quickly why I love what I do in case you or someone you know is ever looking for something awesome like this and you tell your couple minute story and and move on i don't know that that's my my basic gist of team building so teresa take it from there because <laughs> well, i think that what a lot of times like new consultants again you just need to let it out there. Now's your, now, you know, because you're learning and you're engaged and, and uh, you know, and, and you're having fun with it. I think when the fear sits in or the reason that more people don't recruit consistently is that they feel that they're not working this business to its fullest. You know, that they're like, you know, I, I only sold a hundred dollars last week or I didn't sell anything or I haven't held a party or that whatever. If you're starting, you start to question, well, I great this because I haven't really shown that in my business. And so that sometimes holds you back. And I think what you have to realize is that, um, it's a gift that you give because everybody's going to open and get something else from this business. And I think when we realize that it's, you know, and I've made this analogy before, I think even during part of our uh, pink link training, but if you are sitting next to somebody on an airplane and, and you know, our ears are popping or whatever, the first thing that sometimes if you've got gum in your purse, you're just, you're going to get a piece out for yourself, but you're not just going to shove it in your mouth. You're going to offer her some gum and, and very likely she's either going to say, Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Or no, but you know what? I think I'll grab it and I'll just keep it for later in case I need it. Or, you know, really I don't care for juicy fruit gum, whatever it is that they say, but, that's just the proper thing to do. And, and I think when we look at our business, like I have a gift and the more I give this gift away and what, what she does with it is not your responsibility guys. And I think that's important too, to remember, you know, it's your responsibility to tell her about the opportunity to share, share Mary Kay said, pass it on. Those were the words that personally, and I know Susan, I know you went through the same experience, but when I went to DIT week and, and she touched me and held my hands and looked in my eyes and it was like nobody else was in the room and she just smiled and she said, pass it on. And that's how we've grown to the business and the company and the people and the integrity and the quality and, and everything that we are is because it started with her 
and she asked us to pass it on. So we don't get held up on what we've done or what we haven't done, because it's not about us, right? And when we do get hung up on that stuff, we're looking, it's, it's about us. When it's about them, then we realize What I give to her is what really is, you know, her responsibility, whether she opens it and finds a million dreams come true or she just has some fun and gets her Mary Kay products at wholesale, whatever she does. So that's not your responsibility. And I think if we just realize that, just like Susan just said, it becomes a part of the circle. You, you'll hear the words, working your business full circle. And that is simply means that we schedule appointments, we meet with people, we share the products, we put it on their faces, we share the business opportunity, we let them know why we love what we do, we give them the opportunity to get all the information so if they don't wanna do this, they can be a great client and a wonderful talent scout for us. And so that's building your customer base so then they believe in you, they believe in Mary Kay, and they may, they may decide in a couple of years, you know, Teresa talked to me about that Mary Kay thing. And oh my gosh, you know, now, now I think I might need something like that. So that's your job. It's just to plant the seeds and give people the information. And then you develop your customer base and, you know, you just work that full circle. And that's the way this business is meant to work. Not any of it out of proportion, but, you know, it's just a slow, steady stream of building a customer base. Oh, my lighting just went weird. <laughs> uh, building a customer base and and sharing sharing people. And you know, when I I just finished with this part of it. When I went into DIQ, and it was two and a half years after I'd been in the business, and I'd been talking about the, being a director from pretty much the the first three months when I came in and I saw this opportunity for what it was, and I fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the company, I fell in love with Mary Kay and the products and everything that it offered. It 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 was what I kn knew I was supposed to do. That I, I knew that this was a path that I'd been put on um, to help me grow more than anything. Um, and you know, I'm still growing 31 years later. America, but I came into this company and started my Mary Kay business. I knew I wanted to go into leadership and I told Bob, you know, I'm going to be a director, I'm going to be a director, I'm going to be a director because I knew that that's where I needed to be that would really push me. And, um, but I didn't do it and I didn't do it. And um, finally, after two and a half years of, of just saying I was going to do it, I, I, you know, I never changed the goal. I just changed the way to get there. I realized that I had not shared with probably 80% of my customers. Um, I picked, I picked and, and this girl for that reason, I picked out that girl for this reason and that girl. And, and so I thought, oh, this would be perfect for her or she really loved this or she could use the extra money. I made the decisions for them. And when I quit doing that and I said, I'm gonna go through A to Z, every profile card. And if I haven't shared the facts about the business, I'm going to call her. I'm going to say, will you give me about 30, 45 minutes of your time? I'm going to come over. I'm going to share some facts. I'm, I'm in a management training course. And if, if this is something for you, that'd be awesome. If it's not, that's cool too. I'm going to give you anything you want that day at 50% off of you'll just let me share because this will be great training for me. Once I made that commitment and I quit making the decision for them is when it changed and I became a sales director. It was, it was taking me out of the equation and putting them in it. Suze? That's, that's perfect. That's it. I remember having that epiphany as well. And that um, I, I would prejudge, oh, she, she's Mrs. So-and-so. She doesn't need it. They make lots of money. She wouldn't have time. She's got seven kids or this or that. And so I would just prejudge. Anybody guilty of that? <laughs> and so I think that if you come out of tonight's call with anything, that that is the most important thing you hear was what Teresa said is that you don't make the choice for that person. Um, that you, you sprinkle layers of recruiting just by, just because that's, you're showing people your life and that you love what you do. And, and we have social media now that we didn't have back in 1988 and we had to be more on purpose back then, but don't let social media make you lazy on that. It's just a layer. Of, of showing people your life, showing them what you do. But if you have a goal, you know, to move up or even just to, you want to be a senior consultant and you want a, a little extra avenue of income for that recruiting commission that comes in and you just, you just want to be a true blessing to other people, 
then, then be more on purpose with it. And as Teresa said, go through your customer list and don't judge. You can simply say, and this is a Sue Kirkpatrick, she's a national sales director thing. She used to say, um, somebody, you know, I've had you on my mind and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy. You're probably gonna roll your eyes. This may not be anything you would ever consider for yourself, but I have to think you'd be really good doing what I do. And to be perfectly honest, it would break my heart if I discovered later that that Mary Kay could have been as big a blessing to you as it's been to me and I didn't even tell you about it. So just so I can sleep at night and feel better about that, can we have a conversation and let me just tell you a little bit about what I do. If it's not for you, maybe somebody will come to mind. Okay, so I paraphrase that. That's not exactly Sue. That's Sue and a little bit of Susan Finley in there too, but it, it's true. I mean, you can, you don't have to be so oh, I've got to do this and I've got to do this and buy the check. Just talk to people from your heart, but don't overlook anybody. And right now, I think people really are, I mean, they're, they're home. This dang virus just keeps hanging on. Things are getting canceled. Things, I think people are, are very open to the possibility of having something fun in their lives and definitely bringing in a little more money. People have taken pay cuts. Some people have lost their jobs. And so no matter what, people still want to look cute and feel good. And we're in a business that I, I said the other day, we're finding is uh, pandemic proof. You know, it's not, not only recession proof, but it seems to be pandemic proof because my sales, they're still good. People still want what we have. And thank the Lord, we're backed by a company and a product that's as phenomenal as this. So there's nothing to lose by putting yourself out there. At the very least, that person's going to be flattered that you thought of them. And um, if it's not for them, you can still say to them, you know, thanks for listening. Did anybody come to mind? Um, or um, can we just have, just have an understanding that if this, if you ever do kind of come back to this and think you'd like to do something like Mary Kay, that you'll be part of my awesome team. I would love to work with you now or in the future. So that's all stuff. I mean, I don't write down that script. That's just from my heart. And I think you all can do something very similar. Just tell people that you would love for them to know more. Or I just realized I've never told you anything about our business. I mean, you've been a great customer all the time. I would love for you to know more about the company you support with your purchases. Would you just humor me? And let me tell you a little bit about what I do. It may not be for you, but what if it is? I'd love to be the one to, to um, offer that amazing life-changing opportunity. So anything else? <laughs> I, I just, it's part of the service that we give, I believe, is making sure that our customers not only fall in love with our products, but they fall in love with our company and they fall in love with us. And when they see, when they genuinely see our passion for this business, you know, they're going to be attracted to us either to be our customer, proudly be our customer. I mean, that, you know, that's kind of always my goal. Um, I want my customers to say, oh my gosh, you need to meet Teresa. You need to talk to my consultant, you know, and, you know, I want them to be, uh, me be a gift that they're giving away because it's not the products sell themselves, but you and represent a company and, um, and, and sharing the products and the business opportunity. I mean, I just think that is the service that we provide that they learn about our company. It's not unlike any other company that you might be working kind of in human resources for. You're going to be talking about the advantages of doing business with this company. And it's not, it's just, it's the service that you give, but it's the company that supports the service that I give. And they need to know that they need to know what, how, how incredible this company is. How incredible is it that we just had our seminar virtually that they had a major struggle on Thursday night that, um, it, that would have, I mean, when we have our screens freeze up, we freak out, you know, they had 66,000 people waiting for this and it didn't go off. 
and how horrible i can't even imagine what it was like and i don't want to go we're we're not going to spend a ton of time on that you've got to watch laura beitner's video on mary Kay and touch if you haven't already seen that then you'll understand even more about this company because that was definitely so heartfelt and then they're refunding everybody's money i mean incredible this company I, every day i get up and i i, I trust this company, the decisions that they make, the products they put out there, and I'm blessed and thankful. And, and when we take that and show that to our customers and we're consistent with it, we're not eking and zooming. They want people they can count on. Don't you want the best customer service when you go into a restaurant or a store and, and you have somebody that smiles and is genuine and authentic and real and they love their company and they love their product? I mean, you're drawn into that. And honestly, passionate about this opportunity, then you need to study more. You need to watch more videos. You need to know more because this company is a company that you should be passionate about. And if you're not passionate about our products, then you're not using enough. You're not using them head to toe because you will be. And so those are the things. And once you, you get that, it, the rest of its history, you can go with it wherever you want. And hey, you know, if you don't want to be a director, you don't want to win a car, you don't want all the prizes, the perks and the stuff, the, the money and the suit, the hoot and the loot that comes with being in management and in leadership with this company, that's okay. But your neighbor might want that. And so you don't hold your, you know, where you, her back based on where you want to go she needs to know about it because it might be the opportunity that she's looking for. So um, a couple of things just real quickly, Susan, anything do you want to add to that before I jump in? To this is very well said. And um, I think sometimes uh, you have to stop and think what blessings have been brought into my life because my recruiter had the courage to open her mouth. What if, you know, I, Diane's not on here right now. She, she left the call, but, I stop and I think, what if Teresa Brady in 1988 had not stayed a few minutes after my party and to tell me a little bit more about it? What would, how would my life be different? How many people, you know, it's this, it's this domino effect, this ripple effect, you know, Nora, Amy Jolly wouldn't be on my team. And I mean, she might be in Mary Kay with somebody else and have offered you, but when you stop and you look at the threads of the tapestry of your life and you, and you see how many of them are pink, that's that's pretty cool and so think outside of yourself that you just want people to know about it and at the very very least they should know more about the company that they support when when they purchase products from you and i think your sales and your customer loyalty will just be stronger because they're not just supporting you they're supporting what you stand for mary Kay stands for so many great things for women and I think that they'll think twice before picking up a mascara at Walgreens when they know all the great things about our company. So look at it that way, that you're just kind of getting the word out on how amazing Mary Kay is. So, Teresa, wrap it up. <laughs> yep, here's, here's a thought. Pick five people. Don't judge them, don't prejudge them, just five people in your circle of influence that you would be proud to introduce to this company. And pick five people. And if you're a seasoned consultant, pick five people that have not, that are in your life that have not heard about the marriage opportunity. They're there, okay? And, and ask Susan, ask me, schedule a time. We can do a three-way phone chat. We can do a Zoom chat. We can do a FaceTime chat. We can do a messenger chat whatever works best for you and that those people and let's do those five individual chats that way you can hear the questions that we ask what we say and how we you know give them the information that they're looking for not what we want to give them but the, what they need find their need and fill it right what what would they be looking for and how could america business help them out and so if you haven't ever done that then that's my challenge to you because that's the way i learned i listen to lucinda share the business and then the other thing that i'm going to suggest that you do if you haven't already done it and hopefully you have is you go to the education 
um, icon on in touch. I'm going to bring it up right now. Hang on, share my screen. And there we go. And okay. And I was going to, okay. How come I can't make it move? Okay, that's out of the way. Now I can. Okay, thank you very much. And almost there. Should have had that ready. Okay, so under education, team building tools. How to team build, get started. Watch the videos. There's supporting materials. There's videos. The video lounge. You can find things about team building. Now this has got the rector stuff in there too, but you can find um, videos under education, on team building, scroll down, uh, sampling. I know I just saw some stuff today, power class, how to's products. So go through there and make sure that you're getting the education that you need to, um, to, to support the things that Susan and I are giving you. And then if you've gone through Mary Kay University, there's three parts of Mary Kay University. There's Mary Kay University, there's Color Confident and Skin Care Confident. You need to make sure you've gone through because that's all part and parcel to what I'm talking about. The more confident you are about our products and what they do and how awesome they are, um, the more confident you're going to be to share the business. So those should be the, you know, take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, a day if you can uh, or every couple of days or a week whatever but I think we have a little bit more time now and make sure that you're getting that those tools and the education that the company knows so also when you have a new team member you can direct her there as well and she'll know the big picture that's all I got I'm going to wrap it up with a little poem, and those of you that are seasoned have heard this before, but it's one of my favorites. It's called Maybe She Needs Me. This is kind of an oldie, but a goodie, so I'm going to wrap us up with that. It had been a long day. I was finishing a task, and as I hurried past her, a little voice said, ask. Oh, not today, I told myself. I'm tired, and it shows. Besides, I might look foolish, and she'd likely just say no. While drifting off to sleep that night, I saw her face again. I wondered what her life was like, her needs, her dreams, her pain. What if she'd been wishing for a friendly word and smile, a chance to know somebody who would go the extra mile? What if she'd been waiting for a break, an open door? Was this the opportunity that she'd been praying for? I saw the car she might not drive, the ring she might not wear, because I would not risk myself to stop to ask to care. So what if what I offer her is not her cup of tea? That's a choice for her to make. How selfish can I be? Oh, let me live the true go give and let my mission be not to think, do I need her? But maybe she needs me. So that kind of says it all. It does. So, it does. Make sure if you have on. questions about this, if you need help, you've got support. Trust me, all you have to do is reach out and let us know and we'll be glad to team up with you and, and you know, point you in directions to get the information that you need. And um, I'm excited. Hey, hey, this is a whole new seminar year. We're going to have a pink huddle tomorrow night at seven o'clock and you don't want to miss it. You, you all are already in, uh, the, we're going to give it. Well, all, you have to have all three. You have to attend all three, right, Susan? That, that yeah. way we're going to draw names from everybody who attends all three this week. So that's tomorrow night and that's Saturday morning. And you're going to get a full prize. And it's going to be Susan's team and my team. So two prizes going out. Nora and Diane, you got a really good chance. <laughs> and I have a watery eye. I am not weeping. I have a watery eye. <laughs> so maybe I can. All right. Love you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being on. Good night. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.